Hi, I'm Brewster, and I'm an alcoholic. I've got 20 years without a drink since June 9th, 1993. I've been sober continuously in Central California for that length of time. Prior to that time, I was in and out of Alcoholics Anonymous since my first meeting in February 23rd of 1981. I found that every time I stopped drinking, my life got better. And when I drank again, it got worse. Sometimes not all at once, but sometimes all at once in great measure. I found that every time I relapsed, I would end up getting in more and more trouble. My worst relapse was in 1987 when I left my support group, my sponsor, uh, and uh, my wife-to-be for what I thought was a work weekend, and it turned into a weekend from heck. And that relapse, that bottle of uh, Jim Beam and five gallons of gasoline and a little brush fire got me in some real trouble. Uh, burn, burns over my face and hands. And it took me five more years to get some permanent sobriety under my belt. Although I did go in and out of AA, I found church would help on occasion and other activities would keep me busy, would minimize my blackouts and my crazy behavior. When I got sober, I realized I'd been crazy for that 20 years. See, I drank from uh, 1974 to 1993 with some spells of recovery in there, sobriety, some dry time. And the more I worked the steps, the more they started to work me. The sponsor who worked with me on getting the steps written down, which was a key for my sobriety, was here in the Central Valley. And if it hadn't been for him and the efforts of countless other alcoholics, I wouldn't be here today sober. As soon as I could, at my sponsor's suggestion, I got involved in H&I work. Hospitals and institutions here in Central California has about a 70-year history. Some of the first AAs here were going out to the county jails as early as 1945, 1950. Almost the time uh, Clinton Duffy from San Quentin was letting alcoholics into San Quentin back in 1940. Anyway, I was involved in AA in H and I service work extensively here for 15 of my 20 years of sobriety. Currently, I'm not involved in H and I in that capacity due to life changes and family events. Um, I think it's imperative that we listen to non-alcoholics on some of what we do, but other times when they don't understand us and tell us to quit our program, we need to not listen to that. We need to stay with the program. Every time I've walked away from AA, I've gotten drunk. I haven't walked away. I'm involved. I still I still secretary a meeting on uh, Sunday mornings and uh, work with others. I have three or four sponsees that I know of that are sober, and a couple I'm not sure are. I've touched... People have told me I've touched their lives, and I believe that. So I'm, I'm grateful that I have what I have today. So if it's either gratitude or H&I, I can't tell you which to be on my story. But at H&I, I found many, many wonderful people, and I found that the meeting after the meeting is, is true in H&I in Central California. And some of the things we we did, the drives out to the prisons and the county jails, and really enriched my recovery. And um, one of my sponsors through the responsibility at my lap in 1995, shortly after I got cleared to go to our county jail, and he told me um, that <clears throat> there's no way I'd get all these guys to go out with me to the county jail. I get every single one of them on his list to go out with me to the county jail at least once. And I'm really grateful for that. Some of them went with me to the state prison too later on. And that experience in hospitals and institutions uh, gave me a foundation in recovery that can't be matched. And I, I recommend if you can get a chance to go to a county jail or a state prison anywhere where you are, for your recovery, it's for, for your sobriety. It's an awesome feeling to walk in and walk out. It's a little scary at first. But I go there for my recovery, my sobriety, and uh, I'm just grateful that AA is there for me. I have a family history of alcoholism, uh, but I'm the alcoholic. It's me. And, you know, even though family might have known certain people in recovery, I'm just grateful that I have what I have today. And that is a walk with a higher power. 
I walk with a sponsor and I walk with some sponsees and my, my family. I'm I'm still married twenty six years to the same girl who saw me through my worst relapses and saw me on my road to recovery and uh she's been an absolute uh, soldier for recovery in our house. Our boys are uh I believe uh not immune to alcoholism, but certainly uh, tempered by the knowledge that their dad's an alcoholic. And I haven't seen them have some of this, have the same urges I did to the extent I did when I was in my 20s. I'm really grateful that the higher power did that for us. AA has really improved my life more than 100%, 100-fold. And I can't recommend AA enough to those who are newcomers. If you don't know what it's like to give it a try, give it a try. Give it for more than 90 days. There's no real recommendation that I can make other than just give it a try. You know, try to find a spot where you're somewhat happy in the meetings. Don't get bored. Stay busy. Wash dishes if you have to. Bring some food. All the good things. Grab a grapevine. Pass it on to somebody who needs it. Uh, Pass what we have on to somebody else who needs it. That's what I do today in all my walk of life. And I'm really grateful for that opportunity to be part of Alcoholics Anonymous. Thank you for letting me share.